Hey guys, I'm going to do a little video demonstration of a brand new MacBook Pro against a Hackintosh that I built. Now to go over some of the specs, the MacBook Pro is the 15 inch 2.6 GHz version. It has the i7 in it that turbos up to 3.6 GHz. It has 8 gigs of RAM, 750 GB hard drive, and it has a NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M graphics card in it. This laptop I was required by my school to purchase. I didn't really have too much of a choice in it. So that's the one that I have. And for my Hackintosh, I have the Intel i5 2500K processor in it. It can turbo up to 3.7 GHz stock. I initially had it overclocked to 4.4 GHz, but I backed it down the stock for this video. Um, like the laptop, I have 8 gigs of RAM in it. Uh, hard drive is a little bit different. I have a Crucial N M4 256GB solid state hard drive in it. Now that hard drive also is uh, partitioned and is dual booting OS X along with Windows 7. So there's two operating systems installed on the one hard drive. I also have a few different hard drives over here as you can see they're all internal. Uh, mainly just for storage. I do a lot of audio mixing so I need the storage space. Um, I have for a graphics card a NVIDIA GT220 graphics card. Uh, not a high-end graphics card by any means. Uh, like I said, I don't do any gaming or anything, so I need it primarily just for audio mixing, and it, it gets the job done. Here's a, a shot of the tower itself. A lot of fans in it to keep it cool from the overclocking. But, um, we'll go through the bio settings just to show that I do have it back down to stock uh, for the video to compare these two. Um, the only advantage the Hackintosh has over the MacBook Pro is the solid state hard drive which makes everything that much faster. So we're going to do a, a booting war to see which one can boot up faster and also load program too. Uh, most likely I'm just going to actually I can't load Pro Tools at the same time because I only have one eye lock. But, you'll get the picture of it anyways. Alright, I'm just going to leave Firefox open when I go and shut this down so Firefox opens up when I turn it back on. But we are going to shut down the MacBook Pro completely. Oh, iTunes also. Oh, didn't know that was open. Alright, now for this, I will also leave Firefox and Pro Tools open. So the next boot comes, all those will open at the same time. Shut down. Huh. Also, if you're interested in some more specs on the Hackintosh, I have a 700 watt power supply in it, um, a giant CPU cooler with about six fans on it to keep it cool. Right, now I'm going to turn the Hackintosh on just so we can go through the BIOS settings to show you. Get the camera steady. Advanced memory. Oh, I mean, frequency settings. I am at 3.3 gigahertz. Nothing has changed. Everything is stock. Um, system memory multiplier is set to 16. Uh, due to the fact that the motherboard does not recognize my memory correctly, it thinks it's only a uh, 1333 megahertz uh, memory, but it's actually 16. So I want that to be right where it needs to be, and that's actually the same clock speed as uh, the MacBook Pro from memory also. I think overall I'll have about $1,000 into this build, which is considerably cheaper than buying an actual Mac Pro. Uh, exit without saving. And I'm actually going to let this boot up, and then I'm going to shut it back down so we can do a fair speed test. And that is 
my OSX boot time. Pro Tools is loading. All right, both systems are off and they are ready to be turned back on. Now I only have two hands. I gotta press two power buttons and hold the camera, so this is gonna be a little bit difficult. So bear with me for a few seconds while I get these both powered up. And I'll do a countdown and then press the power button. So they both start up at the same exact time. And here we go. Three, two, one. And the MacBook is now booting. Still booting. And now the Hackintosh OS X is booting. That wasn't... Well, I guess you could say it's 100% fair due to the fact that the Hackintosh does have a solid state hard drive in it, but due to the fact that I had to wait for a loading screen to come up. But, there you go. MacBook Pro is still loading, and the Hackintosh has already been fully logged in, and now has Pro Tools open. And the MacBook Pro is still loading, and I will open up a session in Pro Tools while the MacBook Pro is still loading. No. Oh, and there we go. So by the time I get a whole project opened up in Pro Tools, the MacBook Pro is just getting started. Oh, there goes iTunes, just finally loaded up. So, the Hackintosh has a considerably huge gain of speed over top of the MacBook Pro. I'm going to call it all on the solid state hard drive. I bet if I put a solid state hard drive in the MacBook Pro, it would be pretty close. Eh, you never know though. Don't have that kind of money at the moment. But, yeah. Um, considering, considering that I spent over a thousand dollars less on the Hackintosh than I did the MacBook Pro, and I have a faster, more efficient machine, I think that gets considered a win. If, if anybody's out there that wants to build a Hackintosh, I highly recommend it. Um, it's just having the satisfaction of knowing that you built something yourself on top of the performance gain and the money you'll save is awesome. Um, it does save, take some time if you've nev never done it before to uh, get things up and running, but once you do it the first time, it's like a walk in the park the second time. Um, I have never had any issues with this, it never let me down once. Um, I also, actually, for, for, just for giggles, let's, uh, let's boot up uh, Windows. But because I have my own computer belt, I can boot OS X and Windows and even Linux if I wanted to. But I do not have uh, Ubuntu at the moment. I did at one point, but ever since I migrated over to a solid site hard drive, I have not gotten around to installing Ubuntu. So we'll go over to Windows and we'll put Windows and might as well just see my Windows boot time. Ooh. Two. Ooh. Didn't even finish the loading screen. And oh the resolution is off, but that's my Windows loading speed. I don't have to uh, do much waiting at all. Actually, kind of nice. Have something that speedy. But um, hope you enjoyed it. Get a shot of the Hackintosh again. Do a little outro song of a song that is not 100% done, but it's a, a decent mix of it. Can't really crank it because it's too late at night, but. We'll listen to a little bit of it. Enjoy, guys. Whoops. Don't want to do that. <laughs>